What's good, John? Another video, and yes, Astro Festival 2019 has finally been announced for November 9th, which is a Saturday, about a month and two weeks from now. Quickly, quickly go over ticket prices, what you can expect, what you can experience, what you can bring, what you can't bring, etc., etc. So, first up, general admission totals up to be $179 and a penny. I will let you know right now, if you get general admission, you are going to be in a very, very, very long ass crowded line. Do not expect to get into the festival within the first few minutes they open up. I remember last year's I didn't see people getting in like after like a whole I didn't see people getting in like after like a whole hour like after they opened up the event. Next up is a stargazing VIP. Totals up to be three hundred fifty dollars and ninety seven cents. Stargazing VIP, I suggest you get this ticket the most. This is one that I had last year. First off, you're going to be in a completely different line. You're going to get into the festival quick and easy, no problem at all. You're going to get in there quick. Um, the area consists of a bar, so if you drink there, they got that for you. A merch booth, and so obviously the merch booth line in the VIP area is not going to be as long as the regular one, two other regular ones, um, since you know majority of people are getting general admission. Let's see, next up, they have barbers there, so you can get a free haircut, totally free. And this is random as hell, but they have a mechanical bull there. So, yeah, even if you like to ride mechanical bulls, like they have that there. That's free. You don't have to pay for that. And they have, y'all know those Gatorade things on the on sides of football games? Think of that with like 50 times bigger. They have a refillable water station. Now, you can't bring in water bottles. You cannot bring in any plastic water bottle, any refillable water bottle, etc. anything. You can't bring it in, but you can just like buy like a water bottle, bottle there and you just refill it there. Um, next up is No Bystanders VIP. Now, I do not want to get into, there's honestly, I don't even want to get into this. I don't even want to talk about this. Um, I don't have much to say about this at all. I'll let you know right now, this is not worth buying. I'm going to say that straight up. It's $696.11. First off, this is basically stargazing VIP. And the only two things that you get added onto it are, um, merch bag, which, Guys, it is not really a merch bag. You expect to get like a shirt and a hoodie and a hat and shit like that, right? Guess what? You're not getting that at all. I saw this one girl's bag. There was the value of this ticket did not equal and was not equivalent to what came in that what additional things you got in that merch bag. It was not at all. The second thing that you get is you get lockers. So if you buy merch, you want to keep your phone, purse, etc., whatever, in a locker. Um, you can get that now. I will say the lockers are limited. It's not like they have like a, a bunch of them. The lockers are limited, so I'm just gonna let you know right now. This is just not worth buying at all. I suggest you don't get it. Just get the no buy. Just get the general admission or the star Geeks VIP. That's what I suggest. One, just get one of those two. What to expect? What to experience? First of all, right off the rip, wear some shoes that you don't care about getting messed up. I can't begin to tell how many off white Ch Chicago ones, off white Prestos. Yeezys, Jordans, etc. that I saw being worn and it's ended up getting messed up. Like guys, you're gonna be in a mosh pit, your shoe's gonna get stepped on, don't be bothered by it, that's just how it works. You're gonna get dirt on your shoe, you're gonna get grass on your shoe, your shoe's gonna get absolutely messed up. So do not wear any nice shoes at all. Wear some beers, wear some shoes that you don't care about getting messed up at all. For example, I just wore my rare air patch ones, the last me throughout the whole day. They were durable, they were, I was comfortable in them through the whole day. Just wear something that you don't care about getting messed up and that's just easy to clean out um, once you get home. Um, where's, alright, I live in Houston, okay, which is where the festival is obviously going to be at. It gets hot as hell here, guys. It gets hot as hell. Wear some shorts and wear a regular shirt. Do not wear a hoodie or a long sleeve shirt and, or a jacket. I can't begin to tell how many people I saw wearing hoodies and jackets. I don't know why, but just do not wear a hoodie or a long sleeve shirt or a jacket. You're going to be drenched in sweat. There's no reason for you t to wear a hoodie or jacket at all. You're going to be in... 100 degree 93 degree as weather so just don't just don't just just don't okay just don't um just wear a short sleeve shirt wear some shorts and just wear some shirts that you just don't care about getting messed up uh next up uh, food vendors about 37 food vendors total from last year about 32 of them in the regular area and then five of them were in the vip the food is expensive as hell okay the food's expensive as hell i didn't even eat throughout the whole day the whole day i, just, I didn't eat a single thing i literally spent all my money on merch um, I have like one water bottle. So guys, next, um, I suggest the first thing that y'all do is either buy your merch or go and buy a water bottle. Like once as the ins the instant you enter the festival, there's really not going to be much more going on. No one's performing once you get in there. Go straight to the merch booths or go straight and buy a water bottle. Go straight to the concession stands and buy a water bottle. Um, the water bottle you can refill them. Y'all know those big guys like Gatorade things on the sidelines. They have those, they have like five of those throughout the whole entire area. You can refill your water bottle throughout the whole day. So please stay hydrated because I cannot begin to tell how many people passed out, 
how many comments I got under my Astral Festival video saying, um, oh, I passed out and like, etc., etc. So please drink, drink water, drink water, stay hydrated throughout the whole day. Trust me on that. Next up, uh, performances. Expect about twelve. Per so expect about twelve different artists performing throughout the day. Uh, that's what number last year. Um, twelve besides Travis. Travis was the thirteenth artist, the last one to perform, obviously. Next up, merch prices. Expect shirts to be forty five dollars. That's the price of them last year. I was able to cop two shirts. I'll show you all pictures of them right here. The shirts that I cop. I cop both of those. Uh, forty five dollars each. Hoodies were ninety dollars. Hats, I'm pretty sure, were forty. And long sleeves. I would assume they'd be like sixty or sixty five. Um, I didn't buy a lot of long sleeve shirts, so I don't know. But um, yeah, expect forty five dollars shirts and ninety dollars hoodies. That's pretty much it. Um, if you do end up getting hurt, don't worry. They got medical attention there. Um, they have plenty of portable bathrooms. You gotta use a restroom. They have plenty of those. You can go use the restroom real quick and get back to whatever you're doing. But other than that, I'm pretty sure that's about it. Like I said, wear shoes. You don't care about getting messed up. Make sure you buy a, a plastic water bottle. Ref refill your water throughout the whole day. Stay hydrated. Other than that, that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep uh, updated throughout the the next month and two weeks up until the festival. Keep y'all updated, bring y'all videos just like I did last year. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. Um, I will see y'all in the next one.